thinking I could like finally take you out to lunch. What the f***? What was that intro? Oh my god. It's not clickbait. This video is not clickbait. I met Ricegum for the first time after our entire past videos, songs we've made on each other, all the fun we've made of each other. We're gonna get to that in a second. But for now, good morning, Fox fam. Welcome back to another vlog. I hope you guys are all having an amazing day. If you are new here, my name is Tanner Fox. I got a red T Fox shirt on and a camo T Fox hat. And if you like these items, there is a link down below in the description. Make sure you guys cop the brand new beanie line because it is almost sold out. All the windbreakers are gone. I know for a fact the hats are almost gone. The shirts are sold out. I think they could be. So there's a link down below. Make sure you guys cop that because there is only five more days. Five more days until the beanie line is completely gone. So guys, get on that. Anyways, today's video, man. Today's video. Let's get started. I feel like I need to give you guys a little bit of a background. I know a lot of you might have missed yesterday's vlog. You might have missed it because I didn't post yesterday. Let me explain. My buddy Holiday, he's from Utah. You guys all know Holiday. He's a really, really awesome friend and uh, also close acquaintances with Sean Duras. Holiday came down to California so that we could head up to LA to basically go to a bunch of meetings that we've been putting off and just grind all day long. And believe it or not, this is all going to tie into how I finally met Rice Gum for the first time after all the fun we made of each other, after all the videos, after all the diss tracks. I've been asking this guy to go to lunch with me. It's been a meme for, for I don't even know how long at this point, but it's been a meme. So a big reason I didn't post a vlog yesterday was because we were in LA. We literally woke up at 6 in the morning and then we got home at like 2.30 in the morning the next day. Like, we were out for 20 hours. I didn't have like a lot of time to film a vlog the way I wanted to. You know, I've been putting a ton of more effort into the actual content of my videos so that I enjoy them and so that you guys enjoy them more. And I didn't want to just vlog a bunch of BS in LA and like, oh, look, look at Ron Rodeo and all this fun stuff and... 1600 Vine. I decided to just film clips whenever it made sense so that I could do this. But then the bigger thing happened and I ran into Ricegum at the most random time of my entire life. So anyways, we woke up, it was a normal day, and of course we ran into something that's very nuclear. Might have a little bit to do with boobies. Hey, holiday. Nuclear boobies. Say it for us. You see the nuclear boobies? Hey, that's what I'm talking about. Me and Holiday are late for a meeting in LA, and this cop is pacing us. We can't go anywhere. Insane. He's been doing 100, now we have to like go well, the speed Well, limit. I was doing 100 when we were in Mexico. Yeah. Now I want to go 65, yeah, yeah, but yeah. unfortunately we're going 55 because of this cop. So one of the five, that's right, five meetings in one day we went to was actually really, really awesome. We had a meeting at the Netflix headquarters in LA, and it was really cool because I got to see all these props from shows that I love watching, like 13 Reasons Why and Stranger Things. Those are like my two favorite things. And I had no idea that Netflix made those. We just walked in and there was like this gnarly security and this guy was checking our phone and it was, it was ridiculous. Netflix security is no joke. He checked Holiday's phone. <laughs> my phone. Email confirmation. Called now we're just waiting, and then we're gonna get some Netflix ballet, baby. Let's, Let's go. go. <laughs> oh, hey, yo, this is Hannah's. This is Hannah's oh, locker. Oh, open, open this. Oh, uh, it's closed. Oh no, open hers. Open hers. Wait. Hold up. Yo, what the? Oh man. She's a, what? Yo, she got a picture of me Let's in here, bro. Go. Let's live. Featuring hormone monster and the lockers from 13 Reasons Why. So me and Holiday are uh, on top of the Netflix building. We snuck up here. There's a really good view and I want to do a backflip, but if I fall that way, Holiday. It's instant death. It's instant death, so don't try this at home, kids. Don't try this at kids' home. Easy. This is when things started getting really, really weird. Not only did I end up at a college, and not no ordinary college, I was at the University of Southern California. That is like the college in California, right? Little Fox at a college. There was like a big dentist event going on. We're getting a tour, we're walking around, we're meeting with a few people. Fox fam, update number three. Send help. I'm in a college. I don't know how I got here. I'm suddenly feeling the urge to start reading. I also starting to feel the urge to get a degree. And uh, I don't know. I'm scared. Oh my god. They have merch. Holiday, they have merch. There's merch, bro. Holiday, Holiday's on a phone call, but they got merch. 
So I'm walking around this college. We go into this massive arena, basketball, volleyball court. It was this huge arena with like 10,000 seats. That was the part that you have all been waiting for. How did I run into rice gum in the middle of nowhere and invite him to lunch and get him to say yes? Before I explain and show you guys this footage, like this is legendary footage. This is the first time me and Ricegum have ever met. I need to give all of those who do not know me and Ricegum's past because it's a good one. So let me break it down. So it all starts about, I would say, two and a half years ago. Ricegum has 300,000 subscribers. I have 200,000 subscribers. We used to comment on each other's videos. That was a normal friendly, like, hey, comment there, comment there, whatever. We never really talked. Over the course of about six months, I, 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 I gained up, I would say, about, I would say four to five Twitter DMs, you know? Like, hey, I'm in LA. We should finally meet up. We should go to lunch. I'm in Vegas or I'm in LA. So a few months after that, I actually tweeted Ricegum. I forget what I even said. I was talking some sort of smack. When dish tracks get old, so you make scripted Q&As with famous girls. And this pisses me off a lot. He made a video and he like exposed these private DMs that, that we had where I like had asked him to lunch and it, it looked really, really funny because like I was talking shit on him on Twitter, but like in the DMs I was like, hey man, let's go get lunch. Like let's meet up, let's finally meet. And then at the end of his video, he made this song and like in the song he talked about the DMs and like, oh, we ain't going to lunch and all this funny stuff. Is it Tanner or Rufus the Morag? Bro, can you stop DMing me? No. You cannot be friends with me. And then I made a diss track back and it I got even worse and it was my first song ever and it, it was it was pretty bad. Rice gum called me out, he roasted me, people were dropping L's, people were asking me if I wanted to go to lunch. Like come on guys, you know that like deep down inside, you know that like Yeah, I ride a scooter, but I got some shooters. I pull up in my GT, I don't need a Uber. Took you four years to get for me, and you bragging. I'm about to lap you, and my paper stacking. After our first two diss tracks in each other, I think they both got over like 10 million views. My reaction to his thing, my song got like 6 million views. I think his video got over 10 million views. It was like this huge thing. And from all these views and all these people, it became like a meme of me asking Rice come to lunch. For like a year following this video, people would comment on my Instagram and on my Twitter and on my YouTube videos like, oh, you ain't going to lunch, like take this L. And then six months go by, nothing really happens, whatever. And then I make We Do It Best. And after We Do It Best, Rice gum made God Church. Thought I told you that you need to go and wash your face. Except it's she's 21, you're trying to catch a case. DM after DM, you was trying to take me on a date. Following up four diss tracks, right, over the course of two years. Two from him and two from me. Funny enough, even like a few weeks ago, we got into like a little tiny thing revolving the whole boxing thing that everyone loves to do so much. So, you understand me and Rice Gum's history. After all the diss tracks, our entire past, blah, 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 meme of me taking Rice Gum to lunch, I'm walking in this weird little hallway. I don't even think I need to say anymore. Roll the clip. I, don't, I have no idea where I am right now, but I think that's Rice Gum over there. You guys, you know I've been trying to invite him to lunch for so long. I'm, I'm gonna go ask him. Hey, hey, Rice Gum. Hey, bro. Hey, it's Tanner. Nice, nice to finally meet you, dude. Hey, um. I was thinking I could like finally take you out to lunch. Like, what, right. do you, what do you say? Where? Do you say? Where? <sighs> what are you into? I don't know. Rice. You like rice? Uh, I like. I know. Rice. I know a good Chinese place by my house. Okay. Uh, sure. You're down to meet there tomorrow, eight o'clock. Okay. Okay. You down? Yeah. Yes. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow, man. Okay. Right. Peace. Okay. Yo. Okay. Oh my God. Yo, I'm going to lunch with rice. Come finally. Little fox. Big flow. That rover. It goes slow. Skirt off in the race car slow mo. I don't wanna see your face no more. Yeah, I'm back and I'm better. Don't hit my line, just send me a letter. Yeah, she switched flow like a lake if I let her. If you offer me gum, I'ma say no, never. Yeah, I'm working hard every day and every night. But my mom called me and it's past my bedtime. Boy, I just rapped and he's up by the sink. Remind me one more time where to find your merch link. In your bio. Hey, we just been working all night and all day. And with the real and we kick out the fakes. And you know we still get in noise complaints. Hey, hey, we do it best. We do it best. We do it best. We do it best. Put hey, hey. M on Instagram, come and find me. Got your boy T Fox getting down on one knee to the dish. Talking this shit, but your boyfriend want me on a real rap song. I'm not that musical. He's got the Scottsdale kids. Working all night and all day And with the real and we 
check out the fakes And you know we still get a noise complaints Hey, hey, we do it best We do it best We do it best We do it best Hey, hey I'm rich, I don't think so You only got money dissing Jake Paul, bro Just in case he gets a little more hungry, you know? He might. It's a big deal. All right. All right. Brian! He's coming. He'll get here. He's probably just stuck in traffic. phone probably died. I can't even land a water bottle for it, dude. It's been like four hours! Great, the sandwiches are getting cold. The, the, the sandwiches were never warm. Yeah, but they're getting cold. Where did, where'd he go? What is that? Is he, are you okay dude? It's been like six hours. I don't think he's coming man. Well that was a waste of time. <laughs> Funny skit though. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. I'm actually curious how these sandwiches taste. They just, they've been looking so ever appetizing. It's great. I'm gonna finish this if you could stop filming me eat. I hope you enjoyed that video. That was obviously a skit. Me and Ricegum uh, met up for like a super short second. It was actually random though that we met up. Talked about a few different things. We Again, we only hung out for like 10 minutes. Ricegum, if you're watching this, bro. Uh, great to finally meet you after all, in reality, all the diss tracks and shit we've made on each other. I just thought that would be really funny because I know it's been such a long time meme of like, Tanner, when are you gonna take him to lunch? So uh, me and Rice came up with that. That nice little skit for you guys. So hopefully you enjoyed that. If you did, be sure to drop a fat thumbs up on this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you guys are new. Lots of big stuff coming in the future. I can't announce kind of what's going on right now quite yet uh, until it's a little more official, but uh, some big stuff coming on. So guys, uh, try to guess in the comments down below what you think is going to happen and what's going on. That's a lot of rice, dude. Right, we have to clean this up now. That is going to do it for today's vlog. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to drop a fat thumbs up. I'm in a tuxedo, man. I feel great. I feel amazing. I hope this was worth the wait. I know I didn't upload yesterday, but I wanted to make a good video out of this because I filmed all these clips in Hollywood, but it just didn't make an entire video. So, hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, once again, drop a fat thumbs up. Subscribe if you guys are new. Do not forget to cop the beanie line. Seriously, you guys have five more days until the beanie line is officially sold out. The windbreaker's gone. The hats are gone. The shirts are almost gone, I believe. There's a link down below. So, get on that new line dropping April 10th. Let's go! Peace out. Let's roll the Fox fan. <laughs> this is the stupidest thing I've ever done. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to drop a fat thumbs up, subscribe down below, and get some of the hottest merch in the game at tfoxbrand.com. And without further ado, let's roll the outro. I wish you a summer. I wish you a summer.